The Supreme Court of Nigeria has granted leave to the federal government to bring nine new grounds of appeal against the release of pro profile agitator Nandi Kano. A five-member panel led by Justice John Okoro granted the leave while ruling on the motion by the council to the federal government, Mr. Tijani Ghazali. The APS court also granted leave to the federal government to include the nine new grounds as part of its amended notice of appeal dated October 28, 2022. At the resumed hearing, counsel to Namdi Kano Mike Ozakome informed the court of his motions seeking for bail for his client and another seeking for his transfer to Kuja Correctional Facility to get proper medical attention, citing his failing health at DSS custody. He also prayed for an accelerated hearing of the matter. Speaking on the motion for transfer of Kano out of the custody of the DSS, the council to the federal government prayed for an adjournment or file a counter affidavit stating that he just took over the matter. It seems the hearing of the motion, particularly that second transfer of Namdi Kanu, may likely delay the hearing of the main suit. The suit advised Osekome to withdraw the pending motions and enable him to focus on the male appeal. The court subsequently fixed May 11 for hearing on the pending motion and the main appeal. Recall that the appeal court had on 11 October 13, 2022, cleared Namdi Kano of alleged treason and terrorism charges against him after the dismissing the remaining six counts leveled against him by the federal government. The appeal court panel fought out the process of extraditing him back to Nigeria from Kenya on grounds of its being in breach of international protocol. Another panel of the same court, however, on October 28, 2022, reversed the earlier decision ordering a stay of execution pending hearing and determination of the appeal of the Supreme Court. These things have been going on since October. What do, what do the federal government, what do they normally do? They will file documents at the court, Supreme Court here. They will undertake to serve us, the respondent. They will hide the documents. They will not serve us. They did that in November last year. It was when we went to the court in January this year to try to facilitate the hearing of the appeal that we discovered that they had filed a motion for extension of time since, Feb since November last year. The council to the federal government, however, declined to speak to, on its nine new grounds of appeal against Namdi Kano's release.